What's up guys? Before we get into the video, remember to like and subscribe and please remember to always respect women. In today's video, I'm teaching you how to remove a stubborn toilet paper roll holder which has a set screw that doesn't want to move. This is what we're working with here. I've already taken the roll out, hidden under here. You can see where the set screw is. It's just a flathead screw that doesn't want to turn. turn. Uh, that, 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 don't, don't turn. I've used this nice little uh, screwdriver here to the point where I don't want to turn. turn. I, I feel like I'm going to damage my screwdriver. So I thought that I needed something a little more powerful. And go ahead and bring out the impact which the motherfucker don't want to move and you can see he twisted my bit some of a bit and now you kind of see he want to twist and bend my fucking bit so what we're gonna find as i already removed this one you know it, you have some mobility here and if you can't see what this is like and how it's installed you might think that you can like unscrew it or twist it off but that ain't gonna fucking happen the other one that i pulled off this is what we're dealing with you see how that slot screw is just kind of ground away got all the paint off of here because I'm trying to unscrew it with the impact and it wants to do this shit so that shit ain't fucking worth it you see the set screw is all the way in and it's it's kind of just corroded so we're gonna do like this son of a bit okay so now I've got these both off I'm gonna take them some bitches off it's corroded too look at that son of a bitch just chipped the fuck off you giant douche I can't even get it off the bit. You critical bastard. Fucking hurt my hand! Alright, we're gonna go to this next one. Get him in there. He's nice and rusted. Ooh, look, that screw wants to come out. What a blessing. I hope that thing doesn't fly off and hit me in the fucking face. Boy, I would love to avoid getting an eye injury today. Go to the next one. Now that it's good and safe and in the trash. Oh, we done it again. God dang it. Get him off. Look at that's all right. Look at who the fuck done that in the first place. Oh, he just wants to turn, turn and he broke off to you. Stinker! Look, come to come off the goddamn bit! I already done this before! Come on now! Yeah, get him off, alright. Fucking A. Now, this one's stuck in there. I don't know, those are pro probably stuck in there also. We're gonna go down here, reach up behind here, and it's just stuck. There, there's, it's just stuck. So are both of these. If I want to get those out, I'll probably have to punch them through. Or maybe I can take a pair of channel locks up in there and pull them out. You suck! So we're gonna put that son of a gun somewhere in there. And then we'll have these nice decorations. Uh, left. And then we're gonna take that off. Because this snapped. I'm going to put a new part on there for to bite it and then I'm going to bite it. Now this is a new one. This is what it's supposed to do. You see this has got a little flat head there and here's the set screw that's holding this bracket in here. If you had any damn sense, you would have gotten something to hold the camera in place to where you could like you know use both of your hands and and watch what you're doing instead of trying to look at it on the screen but that's how that's supposed to work so that worked out okay this little thing in there he's got his screws and he's got some anchors and then we're just gonna tack that son of a bitch on the motherfucking cabinet of the sink. I had a perfectly functional, just corroded uh, piece of shit toilet paper holder. I just wanted to replace it 
with something that was further away from the wall or that could be further away from the wall and I also don't really like to manipulate these things uh, this one's not bad because it doesn't come apart like you know that won't come out of there but the point is I have these nice thick teepees that I use you know and uh, that was a certain distance from the cabinet to where this would be squashed up against the cabinet and you pull on it and it just tears rather than rolls and dispenses so I got sick of doing that and fuck that shit so I was gonna get a freestanding one but they're all fucking flimsy and look like piece of shits so I got something that's like this that'll allow that to to uh, come away from the wall and dispense. And I also wanted to move it uh, further to the front of the cabinet. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. This is my bidet that I installed into the hot and cold water with valves to make the desired temperature. This is just a kitchen sprayer hose. I'm gonna take this off today so that I can put a new grommet on and I'm considering moving this hole, making a new hole elsewhere for better mobility. However, below this height, I've got two drawers in the cabinet. I think they pretty much are gonna be totally in the way to move in. And I can't really come over here because that's where my damn teepee is. So I might just leave it there. And I think the main thing is I need to figure out where I can hang this. This son of a bitch snapped also, so I've got a new hanger hardware for that. Here's my grommet. You see, this shit's dusty. I've had it for a while and been meaning to do this, so let's fucking get this shit done. I'm about to get that some beach, so I want to fit it. This is a new roll. So I know how fat it is. This might actually overhang the front of the cabinet. I think that's, I think I actually want to do it like that. So I'll probably go right up in here and almost butt up against that corner. I think if I give it like a quarter inch on either side, then that's where I'm going to go. So we're going to call it that. So that's going to be approximately right in there. Take my paper out of there and just double check again. Yeah, that's uh, that'll do it. So, gotta double check because this okay, I want it vertical like this. I'm just gonna go in here and tell him where the holes are gonna be. Now, I'm always gonna be one to make pilot holes for anything I'm mounting. These are such long screws. My god, it didn't have to be this way. I could probably use different screws, but here they are. Uh, look and see if that looks decently level. We got the debris. Oh, good gracious sakes. <clears throat> okay, so we got to cut that some. Now, I uh, thought about putting it like that because, as you know, that's going to be easier to put the uh, thing on there, but I feel like I'm going to be pulling the paper off the roll that way and I don't want it to slip off as I'm just dispensing so I'm gonna do it this way look how nice that some beat gonna fit right in there and we're gonna tighten him up and it matches my sink hardware finish pretty well so I think that'd be the 
looking nice. Now there we go. You don't want to put that on there like that. And do that. Just don't do that. Okay? Thanks for watching. So I've taken these drawers out. And now we can see up in here. This is my bite it hose. And this is the part that's broken. That's just a grommet to keep it off of the bare wood and give it a nice finished look. There's a valve here to regulate the pressure. It splits into hot and cold. There's the hot and cold. It goes up to the sink and it goes up to the hose. Turn that off and drain it. I have to disconnect it here. I'm going to tighten this up because I see this is dripping a little bit. I'll pull the hose out and I'll put this new grommet piece there. Now these are the screws from the old toilet paper holder and there's the new one. Probably just take a pair of channel locks and give them a tug or maybe I'll try to twist them and unscrew them a little bit. Whatever happens, happens. So I'm going to do that now. So I ended up trying both of these tools and they weren't going to turn. They weren't going to pull out. I ended up breaking both of them son of a bitches out of there. And I'd really love to take a punch from the outside and just take a hammer and get them out of the wood. But uh, I don't really have anything like that on hand that I can think of. And when I'm in here, I can't see what the fuck I'm doing either because I can't look at it very well while I'm actually manipulating it. So... This one would be even worse for that, so I'm going to just let it be for now. And I'm going to take that apart and hope it don't piss all over. Alright, so I got that off. He's dripping a little bit, but I was able to drain him pretty good. Take my hose. Now this thing actually snapped in two places. So the shaft and then the base where this connects on the outside. Let's just snap. I think I'm going to use this extra thing and put one on either side. And I won't screw it too tight because I don't want it to snap at the base like that again. When I'm using this, uh, it doesn't really come in and out of that hole. It's really kind of just for looks. Uh, I guess it does protect it from the wood. So that's kind of a rough, maybe a little bit sharp on this. I don't think it's going to damage it because it's fine. Think about getting a different hose that's more flexible than that. But I'm not doing that right now. Like a like an all metal style one that's a little bit heavier and designed to uh, bend quite a bit more. But uh, we're going to use this for now. Put a couple of these on the inside. Put my hose back through and then screw it back on. I'm through the hole. Put my plumbing back together and turn the water back on and get the air out of the line and test it out. Make sure I don't have any leaks remaining and try and forget about this gnarly fucking screw bullshit. Okay, so we're in business there. I did tighten up all of this in here. Now we're gonna turn him on. So that's the way that looks. This is him. Maybe I'll put that right there. It might not be too bad. Kind of awkward. I had it over here before. The hose is stiff enough to where I kind of put tension against wherever the holster is. So it's probably why it snapped. Other than the fact that I just use it a lot and deholster it and reholster it all the time. I'm going to take this off from here, but the new one might go somewhere else. Uh, but first I'm going to turn on the water. Make sure I don't have any leaks and clean up this little spill down here. <laughs> Shit, I'm gonna have to figure out what the temperature is because I don't. I feel like these weren't on. Maybe they are on all the way. Fuck, I don't know. Well, this is drip, drip, drip. Oh, is that residual? I don't see it anymore. Well, let's run the hose. Okay. I heard a drip. Oh, 
There is one. It's actually really fucking helpful to use the camera so I can see at that angle. Okay, so it seems to be coming out of just that top joint. Oh, it come out of the T, didn't it? Behind the T. I'm just gonna tighten everything that's close to that T. And we'll come back and try her again. All right, we're looking pretty good. Uh, this one definitely needed to be tightened, so I got that tightened pretty good. I also tightened this one here. I spray the hose into the toilet while I'm washing it, and it's looking dry. If I see any, like, droplets, I'll just kind of take and do this. So there's nothing, no water hanging anywhere. And then I'll come in and I'll run this and then I'll watch so that way I know if I see any water appear that's because it's coming out of the hose somewhere so I think I see just a little guy right in here just a little bit right where you can't focus up in here. Yep. That looks like a piece of water. But it's barely nothing. So let's see if I can get another one to form. Just a, the lighting sucks, everything sucks to look. But I think that's looking dry now. Yeah, it looks good. If it does have a negligible drop, in this top drawer that sits right here, I do just keep a little bowl in the back of the drawer. That way, if it springs a leak or if I've got a slow drip, it's not just gonna pull on the wood or any of the products and whatnot that I have in the drawer. It'll hit that bowl and then... The idea is, if there is anything dripping into that bowl, that it's just gonna be enough to evaporate throughout the day. Uh, so I'll probably get another paper towel. Soak up any residual drip drops down there and we'll put the drawers back in and figure out where I'm going to put this hanger for the hose. Alright, I got my drawers back in and I think I'm just going to hang this right here to where I can hide that scar. This one is kind of hidden by the new holder. It's going to be far enough away from this to where I can still get on a new roll. The hose should be in a good position right here. It's where I can reach it. The only thing is I like to get a tall trash can right here and that might be kind of in the way with the way, way that the dang hose because <laughs> it's so stiff it doesn't just like nicely fall downward. So I think I'm gonna be putting it over here. I'm gonna measure my holes. I'm gonna put this vertically where my holes are vertical. That way I can center it where those screw parts are. And I just drill through this suction cup that you can put in your shower or whatever. But this is where your screw is to thread your hanger on there. And this is what has screw holes in it. So this just screws on. I'll be drilling through the suction cup right about there. This is a little bit different. It's a little smaller. This doesn't just fit in there, it actually clips. I was kind of disappointed in that, but I feel like sooner or later I will be just getting a different hose, so I'll get a matching hanger when I get the new hose. We won't worry about that today, I just want to get this one up and running because I do use the piss out of it. So is this going to be a good height? and everything else. So if this was just uh, kind of sitting right here, pop that in there like that. Yeah, it's, uh, it won't be getting my paper wet. So I think, uh, I think we're in business. Man, pulling it out of there is gonna be putting stress on that. So 
My god, I hope the son of a bitch doesn't snap. And if it does, then we'll get a new hose and new hanger. So here we go. Go right over the ugly mark. I'm just gonna probably hold this backwards maybe so I can get a mark Marks in here. Uh, I don't know if I can go down that length. Yeah, that'll work. That'll work. All right, very good. Let's make sure I got a good sized pilot bit for my screws. This is how I like to do it. I just look behind. I can see the threads popping out, but I can't see the shaft or the screw. And then I look at it this way, I can't see my bit at all. Now, these do look a little bit thinner to me. So I'm going to step a uh, step down the bit size because I want that screw to really grip into the wood, not tear the wood as I'm pulling on the thing. So that was the 330 seconds. We're going to step down to 564ths. It's covered in drywall dust, of course. And every other fucking thing. So we're gonna, if you really look at this, you'll notice this ain't level, straight up and down, but I don't give a shit. And it doesn't affect the way that the hardware mounts because you just screw it on and you turn it to where you want it to be. So that's that. Look at how wobbly the screw head. Good grief. What I'm gonna do with this cheap ass fucking hardware is throw it in the garbage. Just kidding. Give it a whirl. Drop the fucking screw. Nowhere to be found. And then I'm gonna start him in the wood. And then I'll find my other screw that I went to uh, Neverland Ranch. You stupid ass. You got so much shit you don't really know you can fuck find anything. All right. Where in the god dang heck did it go? Okay, I'm gonna need a screw here, fellas. Okay, there we go. I rolled over there. And uh, I'm gonna put him in. Okay, now I'm gonna find my pilot hole. Get him started there. Now we already know that this is not level, but ain't anybody gonna see it? Why in the hell is that screw head such a. Oh, I killed her son of a gun. Okay, that looks pretty good. That was a little bit of rocking. I don't know if I like that. I'll tighten it up a bit. Give me back my Phillips head. Okay, that's pretty solid. Got a little bit of a wiggle and that's it. So we're gonna feel like there was a top and the bottom to the last one. And that's definitely the case. So this is the bottom. They don't really give you any indication. But if you look at it that way, you can see. So here you can see the ribs. And then there's just a little ledge to where you can't really see the ribs when you look at it this way. So this is the bottom. And then you're going to screw it and keep Turn. turning it and lose the one which is the bottom. But I got my finger on it, so hopefully I can keep track. I'm not going to put him too tight. But somewhere like that. Now that does not stick flush to the wood down here but if you don't stare at it then you won't know okay that's pretty good i don't want to put it too tight but i don't want it to be loose neither so pop that in there he'll sit down in there if you want him to but i probably won't push it in there because i'm just shitting and pissing so okay another job well done